What's going on guys, ZTA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to get your XRK tank stick up and running on a Raspberry Pi running RetroPie 4.4 or higher. Now I did a video on this a while ago. There was a broken driver in the RetroPie setup script. Since 4.4 has been released, it has been fixed, so it's pretty easy to set up. In this video, I'm going to be using a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus with Flirt case. This also works with the Raspberry Pi 1, 2, 3, 3B Plus, or even the 0, as long as you have RetroPie 4.4 or higher. If you're looking to invest in an arcade stick, the Tank Stick is a really nice setup with the trackball. They do make the XRK Dual with no trackball. This here is the USB version. If you buy one secondhand, there's a good chance you're going to get an old one that doesn't have the trackball set up with USB. So that's the first thing you need to ask if you're buying a secondhand one. I will leave links to the XArcade website and Amazon. We want to plug both of these in because we want the trackball to work and both arcade sticks. So before we even get started here, you'll need RetroPie installed and you'll need an extra controller or a keyboard because we need to go into the RetroPie setup script and install the XArcade to JStick driver. After we get that driver installed, you won't need an extra controller or a keyboard connected to the Raspberry Pi. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so here we are at my Raspberry Pi running RetroPie 4.4 or higher. If you don't already have RetroPie installed on your Raspberry Pi, I've made a ton of videos on setting it up, getting your games up and running, configuring different emulators. I'll leave some links in the description. When you're done setting it up, come back here and we can get your X arcade stick up and running. So I'm working with RetroPie 4.4 and I recommend just doing a fresh install of 4.4. You can upgrade from an earlier version, but there is a chance that some of your stuff may break. In order to install the X arcade to JStick driver, you will need to be online. Ethernet or Wi-Fi will work. First thing we're gonna do is head into the RetroPie menu. If you need to set up your Wi-Fi, you're just going to scroll all the way down to the bottom to Wi-Fi. If you're using the new Raspberry Pi 3B+, Plus, it will prompt you to set up your Wi-Fi country code. Just choose the country you're in right now, and you can go ahead and connect to your Wi-Fi network. When you're done with that, we're going to scroll up to RetroPie Setup and enter this menu. The very first thing we want to do is update our RetroPie Setup script. We're going to go ahead and choose this, click Yes. Give it a second to fetch the script. Now that our setup script is updated, we're going to scroll down to Manage Packages. From this menu, we want to go to Manage Driver Packages and scroll down until we find XArcade to JStick. Click OK. Install from Source. Give it a second to install. When it's finished installing, go to Configuration and Options. We want to enable this driver. Enable XRK to JStick. Click OK. OK. And we're done. We can back up and perform a reboot. Now, I recommend doing a reboot. It might not be necessary, but every time I install something new, I always reboot my system. I'm going to shut my system down because I need to move over to my workbench. I want to show you how I set it up. I'm just going to unplug all of my other controllers, plug in both USBs for my tank stick to the Raspberry Pi. If you're using the XRK dual joystick, I believe it only has one USB, so that's all you'll need. Alright, so here we are. All I need to do is plug in my tank stick to the Raspberry Pi and then power it up. I don't have any other controllers plugged in, so when we boot this up, it's going to ask us to configure a new controller. If you leave another controller plugged in that's previously been set up in RetroPie, just wait for everything to boot up, then press Start on that controller, scroll down to Configure Input. It'll show three controllers, and you can now set up your X Arcade stick. Since this is the only controller I have plugged in, when this boots, it will prompt me to set up a new controller. Two inputs detected. It's detecting my first player and my second player with the X Arcade. Now setting this up is really up to you. Personal preference. There are also two buttons on the side here. I set mine up with the joystick up, down, left, right. 
Start is my one player button. Select is my side button. And then it's really up to you how you want to set your buttons up. There's no right way to do it. But when you run out of buttons, just hold a previously mapped button till it skips that one. When we get down to the hotkey, I choose the same button I use to select, which will be my side button. You can always go online and study different arcade layouts if you'd like to. This is just the way I map mine out. I've been used to doing it this way and it works fine for me. So we have our first player set up and configured, ready to go. Second player now needs to be configured. We're gonna press start, scroll down to configure input, yes and then we'll hold our A button on our second player, or any button really. We're gonna set it up the same exact way. Start's gonna be my second player button, select over on the side, and again, button layout is personal preference for me. When we get to hotkey, I'm gonna use the same button I set up as select, which will be my right side button. And there you have it. We have both players mapped in RetroPie. We're ready to use the X-Arcade tank stick. I'm gonna start out with a fighting game. We'll go with Street Fighter so I can show you both the first player and the second player buttons working. Then I wanna show you a trackball game. Now with trackball, it's a little different. The trackball should work with any LR main version and main for all. If you just wanna use the joystick, that'll work with any emulator. For all of my side scrolling shoot 'em ups and fighting games, I use Final Burn Alpha on my Raspberry Pi running Retro Pi. It just works. Insert some coins with the button you map to select. Press start. We got a second player now. Both joysticks are working. All buttons are working. This is a really nice setup and it is very, very durable. They claim that these are indestructible joysticks and I can tell you right now, they might be right. I have a four year old and a six year old and they jam on this thing. They have scratched the top of it. These kids are rough. My four year old literally hangs on the joystick while he's playing. So it's pretty indestructible. Now you could break it if you really tried to, but just using it normal or having your kids play on it, they're not gonna hurt this thing at all. To exit a game, just press your start button and your select button at the same time. It'll bring you back into the emulation station menu. Now let's mess around with the trackball a little bit. There are scripts out there and ROM packs for just trackball games. I haven't installed anything like this. I just have a lot of arcade games and a few of them are trackball games. I just need to find one. And here we are. So this is using MAME 2003. You can adjust your trackball if you want to. You will need a keyboard plugged in. You're gonna press tab. When you're in the MAME emulator, it's gonna bring up a section. You can scroll down to trackball sensitivity and set it up from there. But out of the box with MAME 2003, it works perfectly fine, at least for me. I've been really happy with the way it's set up out of the box does work with a few other MAME emulators that are built into RetroPie. You'll just have to experiment. Now MAME is a funny beast. There is a bit of a learning curve. Over on the RetroPie wiki page, they explain pretty much everything you need to know. MAME uses different ROM sets for different versions of MAME, so it can get complicated. Not every game is gonna work with MAME 2003. There is tons and tons of documentation online for MAME. If you're really interested in it, do some Google searching. It's gonna take you a day or two to get used to it, but you can find everything you need online. There are a few more trackball games that I have here, but I'm not even gonna mess around with them. Trackball games aren't something I'm really into, but it's good to have the option if you ever wanna get into it down the road. Start and select, we'll exit you out of here. And that's it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. If you could, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to turn notifications on. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, 
Thanks for watching.